What's going on guys? Forever One Ghost here coming back at you with a brand new Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be discussing these new card arts, new units that are coming out to the JP side, and of course discussing a little bit about what you think their types are going to be, their leader skills, all that good stuff here. And also guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like this video because it would make me very, very happy. And of course, I'd appreciate any and all support on this video. So anyway, let's get right back into this. Uh, I do love their arts. I do love these two characters because this is an iconic moment where Goku and Vegeta fought again. I know they fought many times before, but this is another important moment where, you know, Vegeta wanted more power and he wanted to have a fight with Goku and Goku didn't have much time to be on Earth. So he decided, let's go ahead and square off. So these are the cards here. And of course, there is a transformation right after they transcend to their 120 URs where they go into Majin Vegeta and of course, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, Goku Super Saiyan 3 is obviously the Goku that fought Majin Buu Super Saiyan 3. Obviously, you would have to go back to him going from base form to all the way to Super Saiyan 3, but they kind of shortened it down here to this. So, pretty awesome to see this. Uh, very excited to see these card arts here. And of course, I did not miss the Great Saiyan Man that's in the bottom there to the left. Uh, I do see him. I don't know if he's going to be a retreat card, just like Trunks and his father Vegeta when Vegeta goes uh, comes back. Trunks goes in his place kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, there have been speculations that these guys are going to be put on a lot of good categories uh, where you can put them and they would work, obviously. But I think that we're possibly, again, this is just my assumption. I'm not sure if this is true or if it's going to happen. We will see in the coming days. I think one of these two guys are going to be a Super Saiyan 2 category leader. Uh, maybe it might be Vegeta. Maybe it might be Goku. Who knows? Or maybe even a Super Saiyan 3 category leader because we do need a better one. I don't know. Or maybe they might just do something very different that we may not expect of. Who knows? But I'm very excited for these units. Now also, I don't want to talk about this in this video, but I feel like I have to because a lot of other content creators have made this videos and discussing this topic as well, including the top grossing. Um, we're going to get them. Any global player that knows this knows that they should be patient. I understand it's frustrating. It's been a while, but we have to wait. And as a global player, I get frustrated too, but I don't lash out at the game for not giving us our top grossing. We have to be patient, be, you know, much more well-minded people than to go out and lash out. Obviously, I understand. Now, if you feel different, I always welcome anyone to open forum with me on the comments below or even in my Discord to discuss this if they feel different or feel some type of way about it. As well as a lot of people were complaining about the campaign for, uh, the global side which we'll get to that in another video or if you guys want me to discuss it we can do that as well in my discord which i'll leave in a link a link in the description below here to this video but again these card arts are fantastic they look great i'm very excited to see them uh i can't wait to see them on the jp set of course they're going to come to global eventually we always get them we'll always get everything they get obviously but obviously the race is never too good because we're always behind a lot but it's fine because at the end of the day we will get these units as anyone will expect them to come to global eventually but the next thing I want to bring up as well is, will they be, I don't know, I, I may have mentioned it before in the beginning with the category leaders that have, including if they're going to have a passive skill, which they might, which I know they will, obviously, this isn't going to not happen, but we'll see, because a lot of information hasn't been released yet, including their types, are they going to be AGL, strength, tech, INT, physical, who knows, it could be one or, or one or the other, who knows, but anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys do, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and also leave in the comments below what you guys think it's going to be, what categories are going to be, what types they're going to be. All that good stuff, leave it in the comments below. But as always, guys, stay awesome, stay blessed, keep playing Dokkan Battle, and as always, make sure to check me out on the YouTube channel for more videos and more content like this. So as I said before and re-utter, have a fantastic day and keep playing Dokkan.